in the heart of Riga, Latvia, two lives lost to one of the history's deadliest pandemics were uncovered in the church of Saint Gertrude. Their graves tell a story that connects genetics, history and tragedy. The Black Plague swept across Europe in waves from the 14th to 17th centuries, killing millions. By the 1600s, Riga, then under heavy German influence, was no exception. The city's cramped streets and bustling trade routes made it especially vulnerable to outbreaks. Genomic research has revealed that one of the victims buried at St. Gertrude was a man of predominantly German ancestry. This reflects the long-standing presence of Baltic Germans in Riga, who held political and economic power during much of the city's history. The other victim is a woman. She was also buried at St. Gertrude's and carried predominantly Latvian ancestry, representing the native population who lived under foreign rule. The German occupation of Latvia shaped not only politics and culture, but also the lives and deaths of ordinary people. The plague did not discriminate. It cut across class, ethnicity and gender, claiming both the ruling elite and the native population alike. For this video, I've analyzed both genomes with my trait predictor and beta calc tools. We will find out what diseases they were predisposed to, what traits they had, and what they looked like. Let's start with analysis of the German sample. He was predicted to have blue eyes, lightest brown hair, white skin, and a snub nose shape. He also had reduced D2 receptor density, lower odds of epithelial cancer, no risk variance for colorblindness, lower odds of obesity, two copies of the farmer CLTCL1 variant, and likely blood type A or O. He scored high for odds of AMD, rheumatoid arthritis, type 1 diabetes, and multiple sclerosis. He scored low for odds of polycythemia vera, cardiovascular issues and gout. He carried no rare risk variants. With beta-calc he was predicted to have high odds of coronary artery disease, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, skin cancer, stroke, type 1 diabetes, and type 2 diabetes. He scored low for asthma, bipolar type 1, breast cancer, and unipolar depression. Now let's move on to the Latvian woman. She was predicted to have blue eyes with an amber center, light brown hair, white skin, and a snub nose shape. She was predicted to be a worrier, meaning to have slower dopamine reuptake and higher dopamine levels. She was also predicted to have lower D2 receptor availability, high odds of autism, lower levels of empathy, lower odds of autoimmune disease, no variance for colorblindness, and likely blood type O or A. She scored particularly high for primary biliary cirrhosis, type 2 diabetes, and Alzheimer's. She scored low for odds of eczema, AMD, and cardiovascular issues. She carried no rare risk variants. With beta-calc, she scored high for odds of anxiety, autism, mental illness, multiple sclerosis, ovarian cancer, Parkinson's, and type 2 diabetes. She scored low for odds of bipolar disorder type 1, coronary artery disease, depression, hypertension, skin cancer, stroke, and type 1 diabetes. You can purchase their genomes from the links in the description. There you will also find links to purchase my tools and services.